Here's a few. I, I just sat down for 15 minutes. And this is just from my memory. And I've got to tell you, I'm, over, I'm well over 60. So my memory isn't as good as it used to be. And just from that, I just started writing down some of the things that ended up being the decision factors from a technology perspective on automation systems over the years. These are not chronological. They're, they're just there. I mean, I, I find some of these things to be hysterical. You've got expert systems up there. Fantastic expert system. Scorecards. Do you know for the last 10 years, if you could sell scorecards, it didn't matter what information was on them. Just sell scorecards and make pretty dials that turn red, green, and you could sell your system. Was it informing people what the right things to do are? Don't get lost in detail. Uh, SIM. SIM is the one I like the best, by the way. Do, you, do any of you remember SIM, Computer Integrated Manufacturing? SIM, this is my definition, Computer Integrated Manufacturing. If you connect every computer in a plant together, something good is bound to happen. It's amazing. It's amazing. The whole world of system integration came out of the concept of SIM. Fortunately for us, it's grown beyond that. Uh, it's just incredible. Pixel resolution. I really love this one. Have any of you seen a pixel? There was a point in time where when we got a request for proposal for a distributed control system, question number one, what is the pixel resolution of your CRT? Question number two, what is the color palette? Do you have magenta? <laughs> if you don't have magenta, you can't control our plant. We know this for fact. I mean, guys, the issue isn't that any of these things are bad. These are not bad. The, each one of them has validity. Each one of them has goodness to it. The problem is this was a solution looking for a problem. And we've been doing that for 30 years. For 30 years, this industry has been, a, has been technology looking for a problem. And if you don't believe me, how many of you have implemented IoT? Okay, come on, raise your hand. You can, it's interactive. He said it was interactive. You can raise your hand. <laughs> How many of you have a cloud somewhere in your wallet? I mean, if you have two clouds, you have a thunderstorm. It's a really difficult situation. And the issue isn't that IoT is not good, the Internet of Things. It's, it's good concept. The issue is that we have technology looking for a problem. So where have we gotten to? And by the way, most of this stuff was valid. Coming out of the IT world or the academic world, where have we gotten to? In my opinion, we've gotten to the point where technology is not the problem anymore. We've reached the point where we have enough technology that if we have good solutions engineers, we're going to be able to solve the problem that industry has. In other words, we've gotten to the point where we can go back. Let's see if I get this right. Uh, to that point. We can go back to the future. We can start focusing on what the true problems of industry are and start applying technology. Now, I run a group I mentioned to you called Business Value Consulting. My group is not responsible for any products, which really irritates a product company that I work for. But we're not responsible for any products. What we do is we go in and we measure the business and we try to figure out how to improve the business simply on the results that we create. And the funny thing is, as engineers, we tend to be conservative people. I don't know if you notice that. We tend to be a conservative lot. We don't like to take a whole lot of risk. But my company kept saying, people in my company kept saying, wait a second. How do you know you're going to be able to solve the problem once you find it? I said, well, the technology will let me solve the problem. The problem's not the technology. The problem's our brain. Can we scope it and structure it? Because I know if I can figure out what the problem is, I can solve it. The technology exists. So it's time to turn back to this point where we're looking at control problems from a very different perspective.